Mercedes guys, today it's finally time to welcome you with the all new Mercedes AMG S63, but as you can already see, it's not a regular one and it's not even called the S63 anymore. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the Brabus 930 based on the 2025 model Mercedes AMG S63 e performance. And in today's video, I want to give you a full tour of the outside, showing you all the Brabus sized highlights, and afterwards, we'll be checking out the special masterpiece interior. And last but not least, to finish it all off, we will be giving you a sound check. So let me talk you through and tell you more about this car here in specific. It's based on the old new 2024 model Mercedes AMG S63 e performance is the most powerful S class and this time even more powerful than the AMG version. So when we talk about the AMG version, we have a system output of around about 612 horsepower coming from the four liter bi-turbo AMG engine. And then in addition to the electric drive train that gives us another 190 horsepower. We have a total output of 802 horsepower with the base model. But yet again, Brabus wasn't happy with the, with the 800 horsepower. Now they have decided to give us a 930 horsepower beast that we have here. We have 1,510 newton meters of torque and we do the 0 to 100 sprint in 3.2 seconds. The VMAX is limited at 290 kph. If we talk about the base model, it's just 250. And all in all, it's a lot of things that I have to show you through. So let's get it on and let's start with the walk around. Talking about the exterior, we have a proper Bravo spec here. Everything has been blacked out to match with the Bravo spec here. We have some gorgeous looking and new wheels here. I uh, will be also showing you these in a minute. And yeah, let's get on. Let's start with the face of the new Bravo's 930 based on the AMG S63. First things first, Bravo's has changed quite a few things. So let me talk you through. We have the base digital like headlight unit, the S-Class specific DNA here. When talking about the grill, we have the so-called Panamericana front grill as a base here, which Brabus change, as you can see, is finished in shadow chrome. So they have removed the grill and then repainted it and uh, reinstalled it again. And in addition to that, we have these Brabus carbon fiber intakes here to give this a more brutal look with the Brabus additional LED front light here. Instead of the Mercedes-Benz star, we have the Brabus double B here, also here on top. Looks pretty cool. When we look on the bumper here, we have this additional Brabus part here, full finished in carbon fiber, in addition with the LED light mounted. Looks pretty cool with the front splitter here, finished in carbon fiber, giving this the perfect look. When talking about the body in general, AMG and both Brabus haven't changed anything, so the width is actually regular S-Class. The S63, they've never worked on the body at all dimensions-wise. It's a long wheel base, S-Class is a base, and it's, I think, round about 5.3 meters long. It's extremely humongous and very cool looking here. So let me talk you through, especially here on the side. There's one thing for sure, it's very special because it's a world premiere for new Brabus wheels here. We have the all new Brabus Monoblock ZM wheels here. Look pretty cool, literally looking like the Monoblock M and Monoblock Z merging together here with the Monoblock touches and the Monoblock Z pins here. It looks pretty aggressive, really nice. Huge Brabus center lock, it's just for the look. How do you guys like the new wheel design here? Brabo's additional side part here. Carbon fiber, everything here has been tinted, blacked out. You can also see that in the back over here, we have the seamless door handles right over here. As soon as I lock the car, you can see it move in and then when unlocking, they pop out. It's also illuminated in the back again, 22 inches monoblock ZM wheels here, looking pretty decent. Huge fan of the touches here. On the right-hand side, you can actually fill up your V8 by turbo, but on the left hand side, you can charge the battery. And here you go, AC charging port. It's actually a super slow charging, but this car is not made to be driven fully electric. So now, just turned off that uh, weird sound, talking about the hybrids car that we have here. It's actually not made to drive fully electric, it's actually a high performance EV. So it's pushing the boundaries when it comes to performance and we're not talking about a lot of electric range. In fact, you can drive, I think, up to 13 kilometers fully electric, but 
That's actually it. If you want to charge the battery then again, you should be driving on the autobahn just for 10 or 20 minutes uh, top speed and then the battery will be fully charged. I've already experienced that. It's pretty cool. But yet again, if you just want to start up your car a very quiet way, you don't want to disturb your neighbors, you can start the car in electric drive and then drive off. But as soon as you want the V8, all you got to do is switch the car up to Sport, Sport Plus, and then you would be ready to go. Now we will be focusing on the rear of the 930 Brabus here based on the AMG S63 performance. And there is quite a thing that I really don't get and understand. I am not the biggest fan of these exhaust tips here, and I've mentioned it multiple times. I would rather go for the AMG exhaust tips because they look even more massive because the round shape exhaust tip, they they remind me of a 53 AMG. So Brabos, I think they should bring back the Y-shape exhaust tips from the S63 back in the days because that's something that I love. Attention to detail at this point, full carbon fiber gloss, then black gloss and then carbon fiber matte, titanium exhaust, pretty nice sound. We will be listening to that in a minute. In addition, we have this full carbon fiber top spoiler here and this one is pretty cool. The way they finish the carbon fiber is just Perfection 930 badge here. The entire bar here, chrome bar, has been finished in shadow chrome. We have the Bravos Masterpiece badge here on the left-hand side as well, as we have a very cool interior. And all in all, how do you guys like the entire setup here? The spec, fully Bravo sized S63 here with the new wheels is the first one of its kind. Can't wait to see more of this. Maybe they will be doing a thousand horsepower S63 in the future. I guess that will be the next step for Jörn Gander and his crew here in Bottrop. Let's unlock the car and let me also show you something pretty cool. This right here is a new Brabos key cover. It's full finished in leather. It's pretty nice the way they did it here with the Brabos signature full black leather finished. I mean, this is something quite interesting for the future. I mean, if you want it, you can have it, whatever color you want, full real leather finish just to match with the entire key here. As soon as we lock and unlock the car, you can already see we have the seamless door handles popping out. Let me just open up the door for you and then we have a closer look on the Brabos Masterpiece interior here with a super special finish. Before we do that, let me also uncover these for you. We have the Brabos entrance board, which is illuminated. Also here on the left hand side, very satisfying to watch. Wow, so cool, huge fan of that. Gas and brake pedals also covered, but we'll just leave that the way it is right now. And let me just have a close look on the inside and tell you more about this special interior. Let's just jump right inside and let me show you more of this. As soon as I close the door, actually, we have, oh, no animation, unfortunately. We have a full masterpiece blacked out interior, looking like a super black right here. There's another version coming. It's actually finished in Smurf blue interior finish. And this one looks proper Brabos. Let me just start the ignition right here for you. As soon as I do that, we have the steering wheel buttons coming alive. With these, you can actually set the driving mode. We're just starting here every time in comfort. If you start the car up in comfort, it will be starting in hybrid mode if you have electric range left. Unfortunately, we don't have any electric range right now, as you can already see, but you can change that with a drive on the Autobahn real quick. You can switch the car up from comfort to slippery individual battery hold. And then we have the electric mode, which is not available right now because we have no electric range. And then we have the Sport and Sport Plus mode here. You can also do, I click on the display here, you just swipe it through. Pretty easy to use, latest MBUX infotainment system. On the left hand side, you have quite a few more functions and features. Yeah, just manual mode, suspension. You can set everything you want here. AMG Dynamics. This is actually the new sound button, which you can also control from the display unit here. So it combines both the exhaust sound and the interior sound because we actually have a speaker in the inside giving us fake interior literally boosts the sound from the outside we'll be also showing you that in a minute apart from that my next highlight are these bow mr speaker covers <laughs> just watch the way they move out and then also move in again so cool in the inside we have a full Brabus masterpiece interior conversion so what they do is they actually strip out the entire interior just to put in their Brabus masterpiece interior leather 
and this looks absolutely perfect with the perforation we have the 77 design here on the side the stitching the piping and all over the interior you have so many cool details you literally can't get enough of it i mean you have the carbon fiber details all around the dashboard finished in leather and then we have all these single parts here finished in shadow chrome which means they remove all these single little parts as you can see here this one also shift pedals here in the back the uh, shift knob there's frame here of the steering wheel even these this little ring here every single button you see they remove it then they repaint it and then reinstall it again as if it wasn't already complicated enough to do a full interior conversion they literally focus on every single detail that's something really cool especially here on the flat bottom amg steering wheels full genuine leather here the leather literally feels like leather and smells like leather that's something i really appreciate but now brabus has come up with something uh, pretty new is here on the airbag cover which is also finished in leather we have the brabos double b here instead of the mercedes-benz star what do you guys actually prefer do you like it with the brabos double b here or would you like, guys like to see a mercedes-benz star here i'm quite unsure to be honest at the end of the day it's based on a mercedes so why put a brabos double b here it looks pretty cool I guess people will like it, some people won't, but at the end of the day, it's an option. Brabos will either give you this or Mercedes-Benz star. So it's all up to you. Apart from that, as we have a long wheelbase S-Class here, you have these two seats here in the back. Actually, it's a three-seater, so you can have space for three people in the back. We have the full panoramic sunroof. We have the Alcantara finish here on top with the Dynamica. It looks pretty cool. You can also see the handles here finished in leather. Brabos knows uh, what they are doing. All in all, guys, that's actually it from the inside. Now it's time for me to talk less and let the S930 Bravo speak. We'll be actually switching the console plus already done. Uh, we'll be starting it up in three, two, one, full break. Mm, 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 nice. As soon as you also start up the car, you can already see the red ambient colors all around. Let me just put both windows down because in the inside of the S-Class, you actually have sound isolation, so you don't get a lot of noises inside. That's why they decided to put us fake synthetic speakers inside to, yeah, to boost the sound. Let me just put both windows down here. And then we will be listening to the sound. The Brabus is ready. I have nothing left to talk. Let the Bravos do the talk now. I think you can already hear it. I mean, we have the pops and bangs from the V8, obviously. We also hear a lot of the electric drive motor. You can hear the, the whistle. It, it actually annoys me a lot that it is so loud. And then you have the engine sound, obviously, and you have the fake interior sound. As soon as you really push it, listen. I honestly don't need that sound in the inside, and I wish there would be an option to turn that off because the V8 sound and the pops and bangs are already fine for me, I guess. I'm okay with that. As long as we have the V8 and the nice sound, I'm also fine with the synthetic sound. Apart from that, how do you guys like the sound? Please leave it in the comment section below. Let's jump outside and finish it off with a proper sound check. Let's go. So now it's time to be listening to the sound of the Bravos 930. As I mentioned from the inside, we have quite a lot of sound isolation, which makes the sound in the inside less. But from the outside, it's a lot. Uh, as we have the Bravos exhaust mounted on this one and the V8 bi-turbo AMG engine on base of it with the Bravos tuned modified version. Can't wait to show it to you. Three, two, one. Let's get it on and let's start it up. <laughs> Did you hear that bang? <laughs> Crazy. And imagine we still have the OPF in this one. So in countries where you don't need the OPF, like the Middle East or the US, the sound is so much better. This here is just the European version and I already love it a lot. How do you guys like it? Rate the sound from 1 to 10 in the comment section below. How do you guys like the spec in general? Please share your comments in the comment section below. I'm already looking forward to see you all again and wish you an amazing day. I will be back.